this is the Fluke 1735. It's a power logger. Once you turn this instrument on, it automatically senses your voltage leads and your current leads and your current clamps on here. Just to make sure that you are using the correct current clamps and the setup that you need it for. This is the menu button. You hit menu. From here, scroll down, go to instrument setup, and to double check your probes, you click on current probes, hit enter. And right now we are using the flexi set that is a part of this unit and it's already on here in the current range you could choose within three different current, current ranges you could choose low, medium, or high and on the bottom it shows you what range it covers now to check that your hookup is correct single phase, three phase, whatever your application is you hit power network and hit enter again and from here you could go your different selections. If you hit down, this is going to be your nominal voltage, pretty much is the range that you're going to be testing in. I'm using 120 volts right now, so I'm keeping it at that range. And your nominal frequency, it alternates between 50 hertz and 60 hertz. Now if you want to do measurements, you hit escape, or it's the same button as menu, and here is the voltage measurements. If you want to see a waveform of your power reading, you just go ahead and switch this knob to scope, and this is the frequency, and it's showing you that it's a clean waveform. You want to see the harmonics in your power setup. You just hit harmonics, and uh, right now I'm going to apply some distortion in here so you can see what it looks like. As you can see, all your distortion is there, and your total harmonic distortion is up here in percentage, and it tells you your voltage. After you check your harmonics, um, the next menu is power. This will show you your power reading. It shows you your power factor. Uh, this depends on what kind of load you're using so it varies this is your watt reading and this is your volt amp readings uh, both of these are going to be different depending on your power factor if you want to do a, any recording for the measurements that you are taking you could do a screenshot let me apply power to this real quick. You, you could do a screenshot by holding down the save screen button and that is going to save what is currently on your screen. And you just hit that message pops up telling you how many spots you have open in your memory. And if you want to save it, you just hit enter and your screenshot has been saved. If you want to save up logging events for a certain period of time you have to go to your menu button select logging select averaging and then from here you have two different settings uh, changing this is going to change your logging time As you can see, when I change this, it changes the days and the hours. So you hit enter once you have selected the time that you want to record for. And exit out of your menu. For logging events, you go to events and select run. From here, you hit enter if you want to continue, if you're happy with the configuration of your instrument. 
it's going to go through a sequence of events and then start logging. This is just notifying you that you need to use your power adapter or the instrument might turn off in between your logging so you have to make sure that if you do long period of logging you apply power to the unit so you don't lose your data. Now as soon as it senses a disturbance in your power, it's going to get triggered and it's going to start recording.